Hi, Jamie Davis from The Nursing Show here at ANEA 2015 in Philadelphia talking about nursing informatics and I'm very excited to have the immediate past president, Patty Sengstack, here to talk a little bit about why it's important for hospitals to have a CNIO, the Chief Nursing Information Officer, and then we'll maybe at the end talk a little bit about ANEA itself, why it's such an important organization. But Patty, welcome to the show. Um, before we get started in all that though, I'd like you to just tell us a little bit about your background as a nurse. Oh, okay. Um, started, um, do I need to say how many years back? No. Okay, good. Um, I started as a medical surgical nurse, like a lot of us did, and went into the ICU. Uh, did probably about six or seven years in ICU, and I think that in your interviews, you'll probably find that a lot of us did some work in an ICU or emergency room, because that's where a lot of the technology mm -hmm. was. So um, many years as an ICU nurse, and then I did clinical nurse specialist work in hospitals throughout the Washington metropolitan area. Uh, covered areas like um, surgical telemetry, neurosurgical nurses, nursing, um, kidney pancreas transplantation, really just kind of a broad gamut of areas that I was exposed to in my, as my son calls it, when I was a real nurse. Ooh. So I know I know you've talked to people about that because I've yes, seen some of your other interviews and um, we know that's not true. Informatics nurses are real nurses Absolutely. making an impact on the direct care of patients. Absolutely. So. <laughs> that's great. So let's talk about Chief Nursing Information Officer. Um, why is it important that that role be present in our organizations? Um, so some people actually call it a chief nursing informatics officer. Oh, informatics officer. Yeah, yeah. well you'll see it a little bit differently some places, but most places I've seen ha are calling it a chief nursing informatics officer. So when you think about it, so let me ask you a question. Who are the biggest users of healthcare technology in America? I would say nurses. I would agree with you. So doesn't it make sense that there's leadership at the at the corporate table, at the executive table, when some of the strategy is being developed on how the technology is going to be used. So I think some of our larger um, integrated delivery networks and larger academic medical centers have embraced that, that role and um, have us CNIOs at their table. Um, many of us are now doctorally prepared and are helping to develop strategy and helping to um, put together the plans that help drive clinical transformation. And I can tell you they have, um, the, the numbers have been growing. You know, I think there were maybe a handful of us a few years back. Um, and now the numbers are continuing to grow. So as our value is being seen as important in helping to um, really meet the charge of the triple aim, um, we're starting to see more of us and I'm loving it. <laughs> That's great. So what are some of the roles that a, a chief nursing informatics officer will take on in an organization, for example? So um, primarily the CNIOs are looking at how care is delivered from the nursing point of view. But I do have to say that it's not Oftentimes it's not just nursing. You know, we look at how the system is used by a lot of our, um, you know, colleagues in respiratory, um, the social work, nutrition, physical therapy. Um, so we really look at the entire um, system and how it's used. So, um, and our physician partners as well. So um, we look at how care is delivered, we look at how workflows are supported or not supported by the technology, mm -hmm. and we try to take our systems and help to make them better so that they support it better. Uh, we really want the, um, we want the system to work for the caregiver so that patient care can be improved, and we don't want the um, nurse or the other care provider that um, to have to work for the system. Does that make sense? It does, it does. And one last question about this, and that is we already have a chief nursing officer, uh -huh. a CNO, but we have a CNIO. How do the two roles interact with each other? That is a great question. Um, the CNIO in most organizations are helping to drive care delivery, looking at new care models, um, looking at health care reform and how that impacts care delivery from the nursing perspective. How technology supports that is typically the role of the CNIO. So, um, and I'm not just talking about the electronic health record um, because there's a lot more to it than that. You know, looking at things like using telemedicine in the mm -hmm. home, right? Looking at um, integrating devices, looking at mobile technologies. So, I mean, the, the 
the gamut, the, you know, it's just, it's expanding on the different uh, areas where technology is used and the CNIOs typically uh, look for um, expertise and advice and consultation from the CNIOs that have that background and training. So let's talk a little bit about ANEA as we wrap up here. Um, you know, as the media past president, you have been at the helm of this organization. Uh, it's clearly an organization for which you have a lot of passion. Uh, what does ANEA mean to you as a nurse informaticist? So ANEA, I've been involved with ANEA for many years now, probably over a decade. and. Um, it is the organization that I believe represents the nurses that are doing the work that our country is expecting. They're the ones that are putting into place all the initiatives that are coming out of the Office of the National Coordinator for Health IT. They are making it happen. And I love that. And so if you've been to any of the sessions here, you'll see these nurses who are passionate about what they're doing really um, sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly of, of their implementations and the challenges that they're having. And um, being able to provide a forum mm -hmm. and a place to meet, network, and increase their education um, means a lot to me. Um, so the one thing I do have to tell you is, and the one thing I'm partic particularly proud of is that the membership dues for this organization are only $60. Really? 60 bucks, and yep, um, we have um, this wonderful conference, and we have the um, monthly webinars, all of them where the nurses can earn contact hours, and that's something that is very um, valuable to them because they want to keep their board certification up. So, um, you know, we just have lots of, we have a publication that we put out that also has contact hours. Um, we have a active listserv where people can ask questions of one another. Um, it's just an organization that just really meets the needs of the nurse informaticists and the emerging leaders that we have in the field. Well, and that's fantastic. So they can, people that are looking at this can find out more at ANIA.org. Yes. Thank so, you very much. Thanks for coming on. And I want to thank all of you for checking this out. We're here from ANEA 2015 in Philadelphia talking about nursing informatics. I want to thank Patty for coming here and joining me. I know she's very busy. We want to thank you for checking out this segment. Remember to watch all of the segments from this conference on the channel you're watching now or over at nursingshow.com.